So again, quite a few cucumbers, a uh, bit of a um, pollination issue, probably with the cooler temperatures, the pollen's not as active or something like that. And that's why then you get these kind of uh, misshapen ones, twisted a little bit. And, but you can see this one's still perfectly fine, grew in this uh, little shoulder here. Of course, these are taken down by powdery mildew and um, downy mildew as well. And the ones we've left to go to seed are pretty much ready to harvest. You can see they're uh, kind of dark yellow orange color. Still get lots of stuff to harvest. Yes, the other big seed one that's getting close as well. And um, this one back here, let's see. Yeah, that one's still got a ways to go. Okay, so this bean is coming to an end. That's definitely uh, more of a summer crop. And we're saving these for dry beans and you can see those there they're gonna be nice and fat in there uh three to five per pod some will have less more whatever so yeah it's gonna be a good bit we'll just uh let the foliage drop off um the beans usually will stick on even when they're starting to dry like this one All right, so you can see that the lemon sour diesel is completely harvested. It took about uh, just under two weeks for all the succession harvests. Uh, we did, let's see, I think three or four total, uh, one big one, and usually it's two or three small ones after that of the lower stuff as it ripens up. So that was right there, and I didn't want to go ahead and measure the the widest part of the bush and it is pretty much circular and it turned out to be uh, about six and a half feet wide with the uh, final colas and everything so that's why this area is all cleared out those are drying and curing as we speak so the rest of the plant um looks like elephant is going to be the next one to come down and it's still got a little bit of ways to go. It's really starting to put on the density and is actually looking quite crystalline. You can see that branch on the right is elephant and the one on the left is fire OG. And again, these guys got hit pretty bad with the thrips. And then back there is Sweet Lemon. Again, all grafted onto Lemon Sour Diesel Rootstock. The Sherbet's looking good as well. That's probably gonna be the next one we actually harvest uh, overall in the greenhouse. Starting to get really chunky. Not huge trichome production on this particular cut, but the smell is just amazing, so that makes it all kind of worthwhile. And it does have pretty decent structure. This grafted strain onto here, which again, I'm not quite sure exactly what that is. It could be either Whitaker Blues or Orange Julius. Um, it's got really nice trichome production actually, and it's going to be a bit later. So that's going to be good. This plant will just keep going as we get the um, sherbet harvested. This stuff will get more light exposure and it'll just really take off. 
And you can see it's actually still kind of somewhat stretching out so these should turn out to be a, quite nice I think. And you can just compare the difference there. Nice looking one over there. Um, and like the elephant, it's starting to pull out the nutrients out of its leaves, get that nice autumn color. And again, we're not feeding or watering or flushing or any of that stuff. Uh, it's just responding to the end of its life cycle. It's a really nice looking leaf there. And this one, along with the uh, Oregon lemon, stayed pretty much clean of pests. And uh, we pretty much continuously strip throughout the grow a little but often and you can see we've gotten rid of a bunch of lowers just recently um you know me and whoever's going to help me to trim this is going to be way too much work anyway so rather get rid of those concentrate the energy to the tops give better airflow and uh yeah i mean just get rid of the leaf matter that's not going to have huge trichome and therefore cannabinoid content in it So this one's going to be definitely quite late, it's still kind of stacking up. Finally the late planted stuff we got here, we took out the um, Oregon diesel that was ready and that's the NYC diesel crossed with blackberry. You can see the little bits that are left have a nice purple color to them, probably anthracyanin. And, um, the Blue City Diesel, which is blueberry crossed with NYC Diesel, it has it in the stems and the petioles and most notably in the pistils and the hairs. But not on the inner leaves or the calyxes like the other one does, so they're kind of almost opposites of each other. Interesting, on this one, you can see some of the lowers actually don't have nearly as much of that pigment. So, you know, it's probably just uh, another phytochemical that the plant kind of uses to s protect itself from UV or something like that. Maybe that's why these lowers look pretty much normal. Really like the structure of this one too, quite dense and chunky clusters. And very nice smell on both of these, quite uh, that kind of um, what I would describe as a dark berry smell. So kind of like a blackberry, blueberry, just uh, fruity, but kind of that deep. Uh, and definitely some of those fuel tones kind of helping to enhance that. It's really quite nice. Last thing I want to show you is the um wine caps outside of the greenhouse and that's the saprophytic mushroom we grow on the wood chips and it's been coming in and out throughout the summer in small bits but since the rains have started now it's going to have kind of its major flush along with what it had in the spring and you can see some right here and this is part of the bit that we spread earlier this year so I think it's called uh, spreading wine caps or something like that. You can check out that video. And soon hopefully we'll have it in the entire path around the greenhouse. And since it's all one organism, uh, they'll kind of fuse into each other and just become one solid ring of mycelium. Oh, here's some really nice ones coming up. You can see how nice and fat that is. There's a bunch of small buttons. So maybe we can keep track of this one for a few days to see how it grows. So it's obviously been out for already a number of days, but it's gonna go very quickly here. Here it is two days later and you can see how much growth there's been. There's the big one. 
and all these ones are kind of catching up and we've had lots more come up since then so it's been five days since the original shot and they are definitely quite full grown looking quite nice so you can see how quickly and how productive this mushroom can provide a yield for you here's some that the ducks were messing around with for some reason just digging around You can see kind of differences in appearance, but it's definitely the same mushroom, it's just difference in age here. Here's some more nice ones. Yeah, and here's some kind of leftover from the summer. You can see a lot smaller. Just didn't have the same amount of moisture available to them. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Keep on growing.